Hi there, welcome to OneWordBytes.com. In this video, we are going to see how to make an user from external identity store as a WebLogic server administration. Till now, uh, we were using only WebLogic as a WebLogic server administrator. And you may be wonder like uh, if you want to use uh, uh, like a user from external identity store, how to make the user as a WebLogic server administrator. So let's take a use case like in a in an enterprise as you know that all the users will be sitting in a corporate identity stores like an active directory or database or uh, iplanet directory etc uh, so for a web logic server like a, to have a, a different user uh, different user as an administrator uh, than the uh, than the actual user uh, actual administrator of a corporate it is very difficult for to maintain it for the enterprise uh, let's say like you have a you, you have a user called 100 bytes admin uh, he is a he is a corporate admin, uh, but actually for WebLogic, if you have different user like WebLogic uh, or some other user, then it is very difficult for corporate to maintain. Like basically, they have to maintain a two users, so that will be a problem for the in the provisioning time. So for so WebLogic has come up with a uh, like a feature like where you can. Um, where you can access the external directory users and uh, configure that user as a web logic server administrator so for this we are going to take a help from an authenticators which is one of the feature uh, provided web logic in the last video and last before video we have seen uh, uh, about uh, types of authenticators like ldap authenticator and database authenticator we are going to reuse that one so for the prerequisite of this uh, of this of this tutorial you need a web browser service to be up and running okay so i have my i have started with the server and i logged into the weblogic server and admin console and i and i logged in as a weblogic as a user okay so as usual uh, go to the security terms go to the security realm my realm so it's i have already configured a providers so like LDAP ATN and SQL ATN, uh, LDAP ATN is for LDAP Authenticator, SQL is for SQL Authenticator. To know how to configure, please uh, see the video which I have uploaded earlier. So in the users and groups, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pull out the users from uh, from these to the ID store in addition to the default authenticator that is like from an embedded LDAP. So let's, let, let's make the 100 bytes DB user one as an administrator. Uh, who sit uh, who sits in a SQL authenticator? So log in. So click the 100 bits DB user and ch and check the group first. So I'm basically I'm going to make the uh, this group one as an uh, uh, part of an administrator role. Okay here. Okay here you can see the key is a part of a group one. Okay then. So we know that we we located the group uh, group. That means like the whoever the part of the group one is a uh, uh, able to log into this web logic server as an administrator then go to the again then go to the security realm my realm okay then click the roles and policies then in the in the realm roles tab okay go to the global roles and it will list out the roles then expand that then you'll find that admin there are there are various roles are there so basically we want to uh, make sure uh, we want to make our user as a part of an administrator and let's choose the uh, role admin who whoever it is a part of uh, this admin role is an administrator so go and click the view role condition okay let's it gets open so already uh, there is a uh, one group is added that is called administrators so here we are going to add our one uh, like external directory group external id store group so click add condition so i'm clicking add condition and in the in the predicate list you will find a lot of things so i'm going to add only a group click next and in the group argument name group one click add and finish okay now you see that whether it's or or and whatever you want to make it as per your need so after adding it i'm going to click save now the group is uh, now the role is saved okay uh, let's log out from the from uh, as a web logic user and try to log in as a 100 bytes db user one so i'm logging out so let's log in as a 100 bytes db user one so user and password login 
yeah we are able to lo lo log in like let let you see like 100 bits db user one so in a in a web logic administrators console so this is the way uh, you have to uh, you have to configure your um, external directory uh, user to be a part of an uh, web logic administrator uh, thanks for watching this video in the next video i'll show how to enable logging and an auditing for more tutorials please visit 100bits.com thank you